Well, good afternoon, folks. It's another beautiful day here on the West Coast, as usual. Look at that. Beautiful. Nice temperature. Probably just about 50 degrees here. No breeze. Anyhow, um, when I posted that vid about installing that uh, voltmeter gauge, you know, uh, a lot of you commented that, you know, it might be a good idea to install a, a switch between it, between it and its power. And uh, I was kind of always in my mind to do something like that. You know, they say like it wouldn't, it won't, doesn't drain anything at all. Because when I come out here in the morning, you know, after eight or ten hours, eleven hours, it, there's no drain at all. But I just like it, you know. An ounce of prevention is worth a pound of cure. So here, I uh, will uh, show you what I've come up with. It's kind of a cool little location to put it. Okay, as you can see, right, where are we? Right there is where the cigarette lighter would go. Oh, hang on, did I pull that away too fast? That's where the cigarette lighter would go? Okay. And it has these little caps in there. You, know, you just pop them in. But what I did is very carefully, and with a lot of uh, filing with a round file, to get a half inch hole in there. Because you can't really drill these, because you can't clamp them in. You can't hold them with anything really tight because they're so thin, you'll just you'll just break them or bend them. So I had to carefully center punch the center of that, which was just by eye, basically, and a quick tape measure to see how, what it was across that way. But yeah, it came out pretty cool. And then, had a hell of a time trying to find a switch. So I had to go down to our um, kind of a marine store here. And uh, they've been here, the store's been here for years and years. And I found this cool little switch. I believe it's made of stainless, but when you flick it, it's just a nice little short throw. That little piece right there is maybe what? One second, uh, maybe three eighths of an inch long. And uh, it's got nice little terminals on it, you know, little screw terminals. And I bought the little little round ends that you, just, you know, take the screw out, put it over, screw it down, and the wire attached to it, and I'll connect it like I normally connect, connect wires. But here, I'll give you a quick uh, little peek of what it will look like uh, when it's uh, in there, okay? Okay, kind of like... See, there's not going to be a whole lot of room, but it's, it's kind of cool. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you can see this, but uh, so I'm out in the sunlight now. But yeah, you know, it'll kind of sit like this. And there's lots of room behind behind this to the, so there's no interference or anything like that. And that will just fit in just like that. And the hole came out pretty cool, pretty good. It's pretty, pretty centered. Then there's a little washer that goes, a little nut that goes over that, that retains it. And then another little one that's just for, kind of cover up the other one. Or I guess the other nut that goes on could be used as a spacer to space this away from the from the away from the uh, main body of this. But yeah, so um, I just got to redo a couple of wires, lengthen the wire that runs from the power to the to the gauge, and it'll go to here. Then all I'll do is run a wire back to the gauge, and it'll just be an interrupter. Okay, so I know, like I said, it's no big, no real big deal. Hope it's coming out okay because I'm in the sun and. Can't really see too much here. Go in the truck. But yeah. yeah, that's how it'll sit. And I like that because this piece here where the threads are, once, whoops, <clears throat> don't want to lose that. <sighs> once this nut here is on, I mean, even though it's not very thick, only like a sixteenth of an inch, it'll take that gap and then there's that little piece. Right there, that'll, that'll go in. This is another little ring, just a round ring. Like I said, just covers up that, covers up uh, this. But anyhow, enough of me flapping my lips. I'll uh, get this installed and I'll bring it back. It'd be pretty cool just sitting right there, you know, inconspicuous, whatever. But yeah, okay, okay, every folks. Well, uh, till I bring you back, everyone take care, peace out, build on. I hope your family's all well, job's going good. And like I said before, your boss gave you that big fat raise that you've been wanting for 20 odd years. <laughs> okay, okay, everyone, take care. Peace out. Build on. Bye. Okay, here you go, folks. That's the wires connected to the switch itself. 
just used uh, these little connectors here. Just take the plastic off them. Don't need that shit because I sold them by now. I don't crimp them off. So yeah, so uh, this wire here, the one, the one with, the one with the uh, with the end on it, that'll go back to my uh, bolt gauge. And then this one here, where is it, where, where, where it is, I can't see it. Yeah, right here, we'll get soldered uh, to the hot lead coming from the battery. I'll just clip off the end that would normally clip onto the volt gauge, solder it on, then do what I normally do to it, and then assemble it. But yeah, like I said, man, I can't you know emphasize enough making good connections because nobody wants to go down the road in a blaze of glory. So yeah, the only thing I didn't do with these, as I would do with anyone that's exposed to moisture, I didn't tape them. I just heat shrink, shrink them because they're just inside. But yeah, like I said, nice short little throw. It's quiet, not a big clunk. But yeah, so when I get this all installed, I'll uh, bring you back, or maybe once I get them all soldered on and connected. Okay, talk to you then. Bye. Okay, folks, it's all done. I was going to show you the solder and everything like that, but pff, no big deal. Here's the finished in install. Looks pretty cool. Okay, I won't talk much because you're not going to be able to hear me over the motor anyhow. Okay, here. There it is. On. Put the switch over. So if I kill the switch, it kills the power. Power on. Bolt meter on. That looks cool, you know, it's uh, right there where the cigarette lighter should be. And since I don't smoke, no big loss. Yeah. Like I said, on, off, on, off, on. There you go. Cool. So, so yeah, that's, whoops, muggy mug. Yeah, so that's my little project for today. That little switch was the most expensive part that was like 18 bucks, but it's a Marine and it's all stainless and everything like that. Hopefully it's not made in China. I don't think it is. But anyhow, yeah, so that's my little vid. And uh, if I have anything else on the go, I'll let you know. Uh, be putting my little Ranger back on the road soon. Still got to find out why I've got uh, every other lights but running lights. Got brake lights, reverse lights, turn signals, but no running lights. But anyhow, so uh, hope everyone's having a good day. Hope all your projects are well. And they're going smoothly along with no hiccups. So, yeah, you know, can't have those little, you know, hiccups here and there. That's part of the build. Okay, everybody, well, take care and uh, peace out and build on. And I hope your day is as beautiful as it is here. You know, it's just fantastic here. Summer's on its way, all green, no white. Okay, everybody, well, like I said before, everybody take care and hope you're having a great day and families is, family is really well. Okay, talk to you later. Bye.